Hello, YouTube. It's Bats coming right at you. Ooh. Come on, these are crispy. I still haven't taken these down. It was a week since my birthday. It's actually kind of fitting that they're there. Welcome to another vlog. Today, I've done some editing, uploaded a video, and this weekend I'm going to the LCS finals in Paris. If you're going there, keep an eye out for me. Come up, say hi, that would be neat. But I invited my friends over. We're gonna have a crawfish party. It's the end of August, you always eat this little red animal. But I assume if you're not used to it, it looks kind of gross. We're gonna do that, and I'm gonna create a pie. It's a vegetable and pie. A classic little snack to this. So we need some cheese, we need some butter, we need some cream. That's basically all the ingredients, almost. Very healthy. Also bought a nice loaf of bread. Important. Now for this pie, you do need a particular sort of cheese. It's called Westerbotten Ost. I think there are several brands out there. This is just one I found. I don't think you have this elsewhere. I mean, come on, there's a Swedish flag and everything. I should probably Google some sort of like substitute for this, but this pie is flippin' delicious. It's just cheese, that's all it is. It's mm. All right, let's make a Westerbotten pie. First, we start with a crust. You need 150 grams of butter and around three deciliters of flour. This is my mother's recipe, and this is the way she's always done it. Shout out to you, mom. Thanks for giving birth and all that. And she likes to slice the butter, so it makes it a little bit easier to work with. Mix it together to a nice workable dough. You can add a little bit of flour if it feels too gooey. When I got it decently mixed i added a little splash of water not too much squeeze it around up on the edges and there you have your crust the fuck if you suddenly hear your neighbors enjoying themselves make sure you pull out a decent laugh so they know you're also having a good time <laughs> Perfect. Then I'm gonna whisk four eggs together, use some of that egg to gently brush the crust, and then we're gonna pre-bake it. Put it in the oven around 10 minutes on 200 degrees Celsius. While that's in the oven, let's look at what I got up to this weekend. Transition. Ah, oh, it's August, friends. Temperature's dropping. It's getting darker earlier by every day here in Sweden. But today is a nice day, and we're gonna see if we can't squeeze a little bit of extra summer out of this one. Lego. <laughs> <laughs> so far it's looking good guys, we're in the lead, and now you will is gonna slow. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it's our game. We did it, Reddit. Yes, we did. How does it feel to lose? Was it all in your head? I think it was all in our head. It comes more games in the future. I will, I will, sure, we will win sometimes. Okay. This feels very bad. Although, as you can see, Spassi did the home run, and I suppose this is why I'm drinking. What is happening here? What a beast. It's really a little bit. <laughs> There's also a dog. Look, he's so handsome. Look at him posing there. Feels good to win. I actually hit the ball a couple of times as well, which was nice. Ah, Bren Ball. How fun. And now, back to our pie. Since I planned this very poorly, the pie wasn't even close to being ready when my friends arrived. Hello. 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 I'm recording everything, you motherfucker. You're gonna be in the vlog. You're gonna be in the vlog. She's not gonna be in the vlog because she sucks, but you too. <laughs> oh look, you brought the crawfish. I know you love me. Are you trying to decorate it with the tails there? Yes, darling. We'll be doing a mighty fine job, I must say. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's get on with it. Take your whisked four eggs and put in two deciliters of milk and two deciliters of cream. Add a little bit of pepper to it and mix it. We don't really need salt, as the Vestabotten cheese is very salty. But if you're using another cheese, make sure you season to your taste. Mix it together thoroughly and then we're gonna grate some cheese. Now you need a lot of cheese. I don't know exactly how much I have here, but you want to try and fill the pie crust up to about two thirds with cheese. Oh yeah. So healthy. Our crust is preheated and it's looking nice. Put that cheese in there. All of the cheese. Oh, and then add your egg and milk and cream mixture. And that's all there is to it. In the oven it goes 175 degrees Celsius or 30 to 35 minutes. In the meantime, you can prep everything you need for your little crawfish pate. Merch. 
And she has a son. She has a son. Would, do you think he would like a cap? Yes. Right. Bring it to him and tell him I said hi. Okay, I will do that. Okay. okay. <laughs> and that's how you make a Vestabotten pie. The cheesy delight. The unhealthiest of pies, probably. But man, maybe the best one. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god, sorry. Pie coming through. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh look, there's so many crayfish. I can see you in between the leaves. Hi. Hello there. These are the best ones, and these are probably not so good. <laughs> and Theo is here too. Mmm. Oh my god, you got the biggest one. Now for the pie. Did it, did it. You want the pie? Thank you. Well, good. <laughs> what did you think about the pie? I thought it was very good. Do you think the people watching this should, should create their own Vestabotten pie? Yes, and they should use your mom's recipe. Yeah, because that's what we've been using. Thanks mom! Thoughts? Yes. <laughs> Alright, thank you, bye! Oh, they, they actually left a long time ago. I just thought that would be a neat transition to do. Crawfish party, eh? So much pleasure. Ooh, scented candle. We had some ice cream. No she. The pie was a success. Make sure you try it out. It works really well as a compliment to like, I don't know, any dish that needs a little bit of oomph. One quick note is that it do take some time to set. I was a little bit late with preparing it and my friends arrived and we sort of like almost ate it straight away. It gets a little bit loose. If you give it like an hour after it came out of the oven, it gets this wonderful compact but still fluffy texture and you can do real nice slices with it. But either way, that's that. Now I'm gonna sleep. Good morning. Ugh. Oh, I need to get my coffee on. I didn't do all the washing up yesterday, so there's eh. Oh no, it's pouring. Oh, we're gonna be recording Cog TV today. This sucks. Hey, coffee. Come on. Come on, you bastard. Come on. Oh, oh yeah. Mm -mm. That's gonna be good. Oh, my table is broken. I have one of those adjustable tables and uh, I can put it down, but I can't put it up anymore. For a little bit I can, so I guess that's gonna work. How's my hair doing? Calm yourself, hair. Don't do that. Do that, okay? So I've had my coffee, I'm feeling fine, and then I looked outside the door and this was there. I don't know what it is. I thought I'd open it. Let's see what it is. Ooh, look. Oh, a newspaper. Eh? Ah, it's Uncharted. Cool. Man, I've actually never played Uncharted, which is really bad because it's probably a really good game. Oh man, I can't give it up. Thank you, whoever sent this. Probably Naughty Dog. Uh, thank you. Maybe I'll actually get time to play this. Although I think right now in my life, uh, if I get time to play another game, it's probably going to be Overwatch. Because to me, it's like so convenient that you can jump in, play for 15 minutes, and then get out. Sort of like works with my job very well. And also, I kind of felt like making another one of those socializing in Overwatch videos. I was in a game the other day, and this guy was just... It was... I can't really tell you guys what he was doing because you had to be there, but it was. I, I wish I was recording. Maybe I'll get to that. Maybe I'll get to that. That's gonna do it for this vlog, though. You got a little bit of everything in there. Some for my party, some of a brand ball, Swedish sport. It's our version of baseball, okay? Don't judge us. We know it's stupid, but we like it. But before we end the vlog, we need a question of the day. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's not loading. God, I hate the new YouTube layout. I feel like a grumpy old man. I don't like change. All right, here we go. In the last vlog, I made some meatballs. Jennifer Hackman says, finally got the opportunity to try this recipe out. My boyfriend and I have been really looking forward to it. As Canadians, we never had anything like it. So fluffy XD. For our first try, I think we nailed the textures. Thank you so much for the recipe. That's awesome. Good on you. Not really a question, I know, but I wanted to use this as an opportunity to say that whenever I cook something on this stupid vlog channel, I really enjoy when you guys try it out and let me know that you did. I don't know why. I feel like it connects me to you, you know, through the lens. <laughs> so if you ever make anything that you saw me do here on the channel, I don't know, for instance, you could try the Vesta button pie I did in this video. Yeah, that, that's an idea. Make sure you like tweet at me, take pictures, send it my way, because I really enjoy it. I tend to like favorite every single tweet that I get. So thank you guys for that, and thank you for watching. Click here to subscribe, click here to watch the previous vlog, where I make those meatballs. They're round, they're fluffy, they're nice. Now I'm gonna go out in the rain and record another Coke TV episode. It's gonna be fun. Just kidding, it's actually going to be a lot of fun. It always is. It's just Dazzy, and I'm out.